everyone to CTV. We hope you all had a good weekend, but we have a lot to cover today, so let's jump into it. The boys' lacrosse team unfortunately lost their first game against Lindsley this Saturday. We played a hard game, fellas, but we'll bounce back next game. We'd like to congratulate the dance company on their performance Friday night, and students are welcome to attend their student performance on Tuesday, if you bought your ticket yesterday. March 25th is the Student Teacher Basketball Shootout on a roll, and Scholars List members are the only students permitted to attend, so make sure you have your cards. And prom fashion show tryouts will be held this Thursday, the 24th, during CFC. Only juniors and seniors are permitted to try out, so we encourage as many people as possible to show out. Now, on to Racing with Mason. Thanks, y'all. Just to remind everybody, this sec the purpose of this segment is to, for me to provide y'all with as much information as 30 seconds or less. So let's go ahead and start the clock and get right into it. Kanye West was suspended from Instagram last week, and fellow rapper Fabio Foreign took to Twitter saying that Ye would create his, be, he would be creating his own social media account. The Miss Marvel trailer released last week, and many are giving the series high praise for exploring the first Muslim, Muslim teen superhero on the big screen. There have been a lot of off-season deals around all the major sports leagues. Notable names include Vaughn Miller to the Buffalo Bills, Freddie Freeman to the LA Dodgers, Chris Bryant to the Colorado Rockies, and Devontae Adams to the Los Angeles Raiders. March Madness continues this week as teams fight for their way to be the national to be in the national championship. As of today, the Gonzaga Bulldogs have the highest odds of victory, but only time will tell if they can live up to the hype. That's all for today. Now let's take a look at the uh, TikTok of the day. Man, whoever, whoever keeps finding these TikToks need a raise. These are getting better and better every week. Uh, now let's take a look at today's weather with Savannah. Thank you, Mason. For today's weather, we're going to have a high of 65 degrees with possible rain in the afternoon. Now on to a word from our sponsor followed by the word of the day. Capitol High School hosted their National Honor Society induction on Thursday, March 4th. The National Honor Society recruits juniors and seniors who excel the four main criteria, scholarship, leadership, service, and character. 24 students proudly walk the stage, earning a certificate and a gold pin. Chapter leader Shane Healy describes the status of his chapter and what the future holds for the new inductees. I think we set a really good foundation this year with um, service out in the community in the Charleston area and doing different things and having a group of juniors that um, can come up and start this process for next year and kind of get their, their, uh, their wheels turning and get hit the ground running to start for the next school year um, since we have a great group of seniors now that can kind of lead the way and, and lead them into the future. Students showed proof of at least a 3.5 GPA, community service hours, teacher recommendations, and exemplary school behavior. Parliamentarian Haley Jones gives some advice for those considering National Honor Society next year. Get involved as soon as you can. Really just enjoy the experience. It's a really fun experience. Uh, if you have the grades and uh, want to join National Honor Society, I highly suggest that you apply because it's a great experience. We're all really close and I wouldn't want to do anything else. <laughs> And the answer is seven minutes. One person eats each cupcake in seven minutes. Don't overthink these riddles, y'all. Today we have a tongue twister for you guys to try. It is 
The six sick cheeks, six cheeks sick. Well, I bet you can't say that three times fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wraps up today's episode of CTV. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all on Thursday. Bye-bye.